This is going to sound kind of dumb, but what you do to find RSS is go to Google and type in RSS in your actual topic. Now to distinguish good RSS from bad RSS is basically the code that they're using to uh, edit their websites. Joomla actually has good RSS where, you know, something like Word type pad or whatever it is. Another thing you want to stay away from is blogs. Blogs are written by adults that just go home and kind of blog about stuff or worse yet, Twitter. Oh, geez. Could you imagine trying to learn off Twitter? Yeah. But you could probably use Twitter to actually communicate with your students if you're smart about it. Okay, so RSS, like say, let's say graphic design. Now, I know probably there is a few, you know, well, a few thousand ones in here that are all just people out in the world just talking about graphic design. So why don't we go to the horse's mouth? AdobeTV.com. Does AdobeTV.com has RSS? Well, they are the leaders in communication with others. So I would say probably yes. Okay, I'm not seeing it right off the bat. That doesn't mean it doesn't exist. So what I'm going to do here is challenge myself to find it. RSS Adobe TV. So here we go. Official RSSs from Adobe themselves. The leaders of graphic design. So here I got Photoshop. Let's look at the Photoshop. And here's everything that comes out of the piping right now. Beautiful. So now I could turn this into RSS. And notice this is a different extension name. Control C. Again, I can go over to widget box and run that through just one more time. Make a widget using a blog. RSS, continue. This one's going to give me a lot more richer interface because there's a lot more content involved. But look at this. Remove Photoshop CSS public beta, custom paper sizes. Nice. And it has a little scrolly bar. Okay, so now, you know, I'm kind of liking just the way it is. Uh, I think a title. Photoshop links. Center it. It's a Photoshop bligget. I could change the thumbnail if I wanted to. Save it. And read it off. Tags. Tags are just a way to find the online. I might include my name in a tag. This is the fun part about making widgets is the constant forgetting of what is required for the widget to work. So there we go. Nice, right? Same thing applies. I go in here. I go to MySpace. I can copy that out and go back to my sandbox. Uh, maybe I'll throw this one over there and that way I can make a new one. Maybe I can just add to this one. Let's say I do that. Let's go into configuration. 
and I can add a widget right on top of a widget. All I do is have to look for the div tag and control V it back in, save, and now I have um, a string that has two widgets in here. Okay, so I think you've been widget to death. But keep in mind, it's, it's endless, the amount of widgets you can make. As long as you're using uh, your brain about it, you can go in here. I like the idea of the flash. You know, I haven't really gone in there and made a flash one yet. But videos, you can put all your videos on VO or YouTube, group them all together, make them into a widget if you wanted to. Gallery, I have a good one in here that uh, brings in all my f pictures that I take. So what I've done here is taken a bunch of high-res photos that I use inside the classroom. And what I want to do here is integrate it so they can see these high-res photos and use them within Photoshop projects. And this gets updated, you know, maybe once a month. And for each one, it'll launch you right to the place where the photo is. And I'm using Zen Gallery, which has an, a built-in RSS. So all I do is uh, install Zen Gallery to some kind of web space. And now I have an RSS feed that I can put back into Widgetbox. All right, so those are just examples, and I'm running out of time. So let's go on to the next video.